Hi guys, Naughty Alex here. Um, previously, I've done a video about um, installing Z Zom's mod pack to improved. However, where I've done it, people have started to get confused because I've used the MC Patcher. So I'm going to keep that video as the one that you install it with MC Patcher, and then this one's going to be the improved version. So I'm literally just going to go through the installation again, but into more detail, as it should be. First thing you'll want to do is make sure you have WinRAR downloaded. I'll show you what WinRAR is. It's different to each person because you need to have the right one. There is places where you can get it for free, obviously. I've got it for free. I'm not buying something that is used. You need to either, if you've got a 32 bit computer, get the 32 bit one. If you've got a 64 bit computer, get the 64 bit one. And then it's simple as that. Once you have that, you're going to want to go onto the internet and find Zom's mod pack. It's going to be in the forum section scrolling about halfway down to release mods and then in here you'll find it somewhere it's either going to be on the first page second page it's going to be near the top because it's quite a popular mod pack which is why I'm doing a video because people need to be shown how to install it because people do get it wrong so once you find it I've got a little diamond the next week I've posted in it, but you'll see it's version 1.6.6 .6 as of the moment, but 1.7 is coming out today. So don't update until you see the mods updated. So keep that in mind. Um, once you go and found it, go onto it. You've got all the mods listed in front of you that that are in it, but the main one people use is, use is a fly mod, and that's the one I'm going to be showing how to turn on today. The current download is big, and it's in big letters and you just want to click and it's going to download straight away. I've already got it loaded and then I've dragged and dropped it to my desktop because I then know where it is. Um, is what you're going to want to do now is press the Windows key which is on the bottom line of your keyboard and the R key simultaneously. You need to type in this box percent sign app data percent sign forward slash dot minecraft forward slash once you've done that you want to hit OK it's going to take you to this area and you're going to want to go into the bin you're then going to want to open the minecraft jar not minecraft with a version number right next to it, you just want the minecraft jar so literally just one that says minecraft nothing else and you're going to want to open it with WinRAR which you downloaded in here you're going to see a box that says, uh, not a box, a folder that says mate it inf around up just near the GUI the GUI so you're going to need to delete that. I've already deleted it because this is the second attempt I've done at the video because the other one I missed a bit out. You need to delete that. And once you've done that, you need to close. You need to put this to one side, not close it, sorry. And you want to minimise this for later on because you're going to need it again. You then want to open the mod pack that you've installed. Make that so it's on one side. If you've got Windows 7, then it's going to work. If not, just sort of muddle it around so you can see both screens. You then want to go into the classes folder. In here, you need to drag and drop every single classes folder into the minecraft.jar. That's done. Don't drag it into any of these top folders. You need to drag it into this bottom area, because if you drag it into the top folders, it won't work. You're now done with the minecraft.jar, so you need to close that. And at the top here, you've got the two double dots. You want to go back, which means back, so you've got to double click that, and it's going to take you back. You don't need the readme.html at the bottom because I'm doing this as I go through. However, if you do go into that, it shows you there's sort of note by note instructions on how to do it. You've also got the source file, which you're not going to need to touch unless you're good at coding. So you need to leave that out. The only other folder we've got to touch is the config. And in this, you'll see lots of dot texts. You need these to activate the, um, activate the mods in game. So when you go back, you want to go back to your dot Minecraft. And now in here you're going to need to create a new folder called MODS, M-O-D-S, no capital letters. Once you've done that, go into that, and then once again create another folder called ZOMB, Z-O-M-B-E, no capital letters once again. Then you need to open this, and then you want to go back to the mod pack that you've downloaded, and you need to drag and drop all of these files into here. If it doesn't work by dragging and dropping, it comes in as one big RAR file. Is what you need to do is you need to right click and go extract, extract sorry, to specified folder, OSC, users, your name or an admin's account, app data, roaming, 
dot minecraft mods and then zomb hit ok and then it'll transfer them all into there i'm not going to do that because they're already there once you're at this stage you've done with all the transferring of files now you need to turn the mod on so i'm going to close this down go into the config which should open like this and then you've got all the mods in a different order the one i'm going to be turning on is the fly mod which is the one that most people download this for you need to go down to the mod you want and it's going to say mod fly enabled or mod craft enabled or whatever it is you're going to say something enabled equals yes however there's a hash key at the front of that which means it's not turned on simply get rid of the hash key that's it you're done you now need to go file save close that and your mod is activated in game if you've got too many items you need to install too many items after the mod after you've installed this um, I can't really think of any more problems that actually arise if you get stuck on the loading screen it probably means you haven't deleted the mater inf if you get red text coming up and you've done something wrong in the config I suggest you just delete all the config like all the dot text packages things delete them put new ones in and then just literally delete that hash key again if it's still not working comment on the video help if this video has helped you please like it because it's just that way I know that it has been working I mean let's prove to you that what I've just done does work so we'll go into my online my server which anybody can join I'll have the IP in the description and look and in the top left you can see it says fly you need to change the keys Q which is drop I think yeah Q is drop you need to change Q um, you need to change E and you need to change left shift because they're all used I'm not you need to put them on something you're comfortable with everybody has different ways in which they're comfortable so just play around with that um, subscribe if you want I'm gonna do lots of videos about this server I'm gonna do more tutorial videos if need be um, thanks for watching